in MMA and focus. Benito Milano. That means welcome to Milan. Have you seen anything more Italian than this? We just took some pictures right over there. So if you're lost, I'm leaving and I'm going to the Doma. You'll see there's a large square and there's like a fountain obelisk in the front. You'll meet me right there, okay? Don't get lost, I don't wanna meet you there. All right? Um, all right. Come on, talk just a second to kind of set up my talk. Uh, about St. Augustine. He was, and we'll talk about this, he was one of the most eloquent preachers in the history of the church. But the way he would prepare for a sermon is he would pray and pray. And then he would study and he would study. But he would not manuscript his sermon. He wouldn't memorize his sermon. He would just go with the flow. And what I wanted to say is sometimes his sermons would go for an hour or even more. So we'll see. How this goes. <laughs> and, uh, this place is so cute. Just like us. <laughs> what was it? It's so cold. We made it. We're in Milan. <laughs> The church, Santa Maria delle Grazie Church. I give you the explanation outside because here we have the Dominican monks that they impose the silence. They are very nice people. They welcome millions of visitors. We have to respect the silence for the reason why that they have the confession all day long. And his family that ruled the city in the 15th century. Before the city was ruled by the Visconti family. We still have an art director, Lucchino Visconti, that is a, a movie maker. It's the success of this ancient family. And they ruled the city for 130 years in the 13th and 14th century. And this was just a military fortress in that period. But then it was destroyed and rebuilt as residence. These are uh, the people that paid for the Last Supper. No signature on Leonardo. And later on, I go deeper in the details. This is an original painting that we have in Brera. Brera is an artist district, and not so far from here. And it's a painting of the uh, 15th century, but we don't know who was uh, uh, the painter. Uh, the castle was uh, built by his uh, father, Francesco Sforza. And over there you can read FR for Francesco. Sforza is uh, the family name. It's rebuilt in the 20th century. MTV, welcome to our cabins. <laughs> Pay attention. Oh! <laughs> you must be very good, actually. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when they have a cafe right inside the castle. Play inside your future home. <laughs> your future crib. Wow. Oh, go, go. I'm taking a video. Sorry. You're fine.
I could figure that maze out really easily. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm starting the explanation outside. I continue just shortly inside, uh, but you have to appreciate uh, to stay with the masterpiece. You have to embrace the masterpiece. You have to experience uh, the masterpiece. Leonardo da Vinci means Leonardo from Vinci village, because Leonardo was a legitimate child. And as a legitimate child, he couldn't go to school. So Leonardo was completely self-taught. Uh, Leonardo painted the Last Supper because Ludovico, that you can see there, was the one who paid for the mural painting. Eh? If you remind, this is the uh, pictures that you have seen in the castle. Uh, he was paying for the mural painting to donate it to the monks. Hey! <laughs> and right inside those doors is the Last Supper. And in a few seconds we're gonna go in and did you know, actually, we have to get, like, dehumidified. You, like, stand in a room, they, like, suck the humidity out of it, and then you can go into the room with the Last Supper. Just a little fun little tidbit, but can't record in there, but I will show pictures right now. What did you yeah. think about the painting? Um, it was amazing, wonderful, definitely recommend going to Italy and seeing it. <laughs> Not only for that, but for Paolo. <laughs> and now we're gonna try some yeah, real Italian it's pizza because it's mwah. <laughs> Wait, do that, do that again. It's mwah. Muy delicioso. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, On our way to the bathroom. Yes. In a McDonald's. So you're so excited to use the restroom. Uh, but now we're in an <laughs> elevator. That's where we used to be, but now we're up higher. Yes, there's restroom. Mm. Toilets. Yes, I'm so excited. I have to so the on the elevator. <laughs> so what just happened? So, well, I I don't know. I didn't see the negative one side, so I guess the bathroom's on, like, in the basement. Well, but basically, we hilarious. had to go downstairs. <laughs> yes. Immediately after getting off the elevator. <laughs> I'm very excited to use yeah. the toilet. The line to the bathroom. I'm sorry, vlog from in the all basement. the events. Terrible angles of me. I just <laughs> very apologetic. <laughs> So, we out here Hi. in the cathedral, and we got these cute little necklaces. We're basically security guards. And they connect to our ears. FBI's in disguise, roger that. Can I hear you? Hello, hello. Yeah, I heard you loud and clear. Uh, over and out. <laughs> but yeah, we can hear our tour guide through these. But and it's really pretty. But the tour is over, so bye. Um, we're just in opera with Paolo, of course. So. <laughs> Go for it. Do your thing. Wow, did you? Oh. 
Are you gonna buy that for your mom? Yes. <laughs> Matt, what are the odds that you order that fish? It's on countdown. One, two, three. 